Have you ever heard of passing the torch, passing the baton? We're going to do some passing today, too, and it won't be a football. Dewey Nelson with Joe Gangwish. As maybe uh, people know, the uh, morning wake-up chair is going to be going to Joe Gangwish. Joe, first of all, uh, tell us a little of history. You've uh, been a veteran of the Rural Radio Network and KRVN for a number of years. Uh, you are no stranger to Nebraska because you were born and raised in Nebraska. I'm no stranger, and I was going to interject and say maybe the passing of the tired eyes, too, comes it, along with this. It does, <laughs> especially the bags under them. No, uh, I, I think a lot of folks are familiar with uh, with me after you know after hearing me uh, since off and on here since 97, but uh, grew up at Gibbon in Buffalo County and uh, you know, born and raised there, University of Nebraska, ag journalism, and uh, grew up listening to KRVN. So uh, this has been a, a natural fit for me to, uh, it's like uh, working at home, basically, is uh, working here at this radio station. So I love it. Something that you've really come up with, and as far as, far as a special feature, has been your Tractor of the Week blog. Yeah, we do the Tractor of the Week blog every week. That's kind of been my hobby and my pet project on our blog, krvn.com. Go to the blogs page and down to Tractor of the Week. And already got some good entries for next week. So it's it's been fun. It's a labor of love, and it's nice to get out and meet new friends at tractor drives and shows and things like that. So, yeah, I, I love doing the blog on the website. No, give us a little... Uh, plug i guess for iron rescue what's that well iron rescue is a way for us to kind of rescue old iron you know if you ever drive by some of the scrap metal places mm -hmm. it just kind of breaks your heart to see some of this good workable equipment that's part of our ag history that just gets scrapped i mean the price of scrap you know allows for that but i know you know we want to save some of this back so our our kids can see how we used to farm and how it used to be done instead of just the stories why not why not see them in action be able to to touch them and and uh, just see that history so that's that's part of the iron rescue you can go to ironrescue.com and learn more but that's a way for for us to preserve our ag history and for guys to collect some metal for people who have listened to KRVN for a length of time, they probably know that since 1973, two people have handled the wake-up chair at this station, Jerry Bennett and myself, included his 24 past years. And we're going to do the ceremonial past the alarm clock to Joe Gangwish. And the reason for that is sometimes it's needed, Sometimes when Joe gets into the groove, he probably is going to wake up five minutes before the alarm every morning. Well, yeah, once you get into that routine, I think uh, your natural clock wakes you up. But uh, now is this supposed to uh, wake me up every morning without fail, right? Yeah, at the time, at the time <laughs> you select, of whether, course. Whether I'm tired or not. And whether you are tired <laughs> or not. Most of the time, you may be tired. Well, that surprises me that uh, just... You and Jerry have been the, the two since 73. Since, that's an interesting since fact. Since 1973. But that's nothing compared to a guy like Dave Thorell, who's been here since 1974. Yeah, and he's mostly been on the midday, too, and, right, during that time? Been mostly in the midday. That's yeah. correct, yeah. Well, people know that people listen. We don't change things much here at this radio station. So, But, you know, times change, more network requirement, as you mentioned. Now let's turn the tables on you. Now talk about uh, what you'll be doing with the Rural Radio Network. I will kind of transform into the chief market uh, anchor for the network. The Rural Radio Network has been very successful. And I want to tell listeners as well, we have expanded the network to not just the Rural Radio Association stations, but have included new affiliates. And we are going to include more in the future. So my duties will be to pretty much do what I'm doing now in, in, except for working that morning shift. Right. And that will right. be to handle the duties of the markets, the talking uh, to the brokers, get their analysis of what we do best, and that's uh, get the analysis of the markets on a day-to-day -day basis. And maybe some people get to see your face a little bit more since you're not required to be here so early and maybe get to some more events. That may be possible as well. So we're looking forward to that too. So, starting Monday, join Joe Gangwish because you're going to be able to wake up with Joe and markets with Dewey and Dave Thorell mixed in, too, and Mike Laporte and all the others. Yeah, we're going to have some fun. So, it's it's going to be good. We'll be informative. It'll be a, a fun time. And we appreciate all the listeners, and, and thanks for, uh, you know, being with us during uh, these transitions. And, of course, that's why we're here, is to serve the listeners Again, with all that information, it won't stop. 
just because of a changeover at KRVN. <laughs> Maybe I should have the boss put me on speed dial in case I do oversleep. Yeah, somebody will. <laughs> Maybe Mike Laporte will. Yeah, he'll be the early one here, won't he? All right. Thanks, Joe. <laughs>